Guys, the bin. Here we go. There it is. Right next to the park. We have to walk all the way up there. Yeah. This is where you get the pay tickets. And if you got the online tickets, then you have to walk all the way there. So remember, if you come here, buy your tickets online before that. The line will move a lot faster, but not that much faster. It's August, so you can see it's pretty busy. The kids have summer feeling, summer holiday. Freizeitland Geiselwind is located in beautiful Bavaria. It's one of the oldest theme parks in Germany. In 1969 it opened as Vogel Pony Märchen Park, or in English, Bird Pony Fairy Tale Park. Very straightforward name, so that you knew exactly what you were getting into, I guess. Back in 2017, German Connie Matthias Mölter purchased the park and packed it with rides he already owned, including a family freefall tower, some carousels, a KMG speed ride, a horror walkthrough and some other cool stuff. Therefore, the park sort of got a reputation as the constant carnival, which is not a bad thing. People loved it. Anyway, Mölter had bigger plans. The next few years, Freizeitland Geiselwind would focus on theming. The existing rides got some additions, some areas were completely redone, and some areas are brand new. And we think it looks fantastic. Right now there is the animal section Tiere und Natur, the Land der Piraten, Tukis Verrückte Farm, Forbidden Kingdom, Freizeitland, Safari Adventure, and the newest edition Drachenbucht. And they are not done yet. We can hope for some new additions in the future. They already asked us for permission, now we got one. We got the permission to film everything, uh, not everything, but... Our first credit of the day, of course, a former carnival ride. Behold, the Cobra Coaster. It has some nice theming and a cool soundtrack. It's from Imascore. This is not Indiana Jones. He has no fear of snakes. This coaster started its career in 2009 as a traveling carnival ride named Xenox. Since 2018, it thrones on top of the hill, walking through the woods and suddenly finding this small quirky coaster cramped between the trees. It's very cool. The capacity is not that bad. We waited about 20 minutes on that busy day. So you have to either wait, let people through, to get the front row place here. Because there's no front row line in this very small coaster. It's the survival of the fittest. It's two rides. I like This is fine. Wow. That's a fair time. Yeah. Oh, nein, Schatz, das geht oh wirklich schnell. God. Oh my god. Oh no. So this uh, was not as uh, brutal as uh, Maud. <laughs> I like this one. This coaster is a creation of Italian manufacturer Interpark. The fun Sidewinder inversion is the smoother part of this ride. It's the helix and the turns that really throw you around. You will probably get hit by the over shoulder restraints repeatedly. So watch out for that. Uh, I like this coaster. It was fun. It had one fun Sidewinder inversion. The fourth inversion is Park. So I really like it. He's insane! Dinosaur! No fun without rules. You are cool. You are cool. You are cool. But you? 
So we are on our way to our next credit, trying to get a doggy dog coaster. But turns out it's a bit of a challenge. In Germany we love our shifts. And this coaster is uh, only works in shifts, I guess. So they have one operator for both the Swan Carousel and the Kitty Coaster. And currently the Swans are running wild. So we'll come back later. The Bauernschenk is closed. So there's the next card. It's the Muck Powered Coaster here. I love them. Who doesn't love them? The Germans love them. Ride them everywhere. Because they are to be loved. Because they are fun. This is a short one. But it's also fun. The Silver Pony Express, formerly known as Blaue Enzia. This one is from 1977 and also was once a traveling coaster. The Blaue Enzian found a new home in Geiselwind in 1989. A true Mack classic. It's über a nette Pfeiler. Because of Oppenheimer. <laughs> no Oppenheimer in Germany. They did a bit of rebranding most recently since 2022. They call it the Silver Pony Express. And the airtime could see but not a bit in our bike. There is no airtime on the Alpen Express. Aww. A good advice here: keep your hands inside at all times, really. The structure comes really close to the train. So next thing we try is uh, the doggy 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 coaster. Maybe this time we reach the shift. Maybe. It's finally running. This one is a classic wacky worm. It's like the potato or bread and butter of coasters. It's common around the globe. It's a third car today, yeah. The doggy dog coaster. Actually, it's red. It doesn't look like much, but everyone kind of loves them anyway. This one is from SBF Visa and it's a dog. The dog versions are called Doggy Dog Coaster by SBF, so the name is not that original. But anyway, in comparison to the worms, it's almost a rare one. It's an Achterbahn! These are always very good. I know they are. They are kind of. It is 138 meters long. It can fit 24 riders, well, 24 small riders or 12 bigger riders. But most importantly, it goes for three rounds. And it's actually our first Wacky Worm credit. It's not a Brauhaus or Festzelt. Ah, they have beautiful wheels here. I don't know. Two euro. Ah, this is a real bratwurst. Now we ride the Piratenspinner. It's the only spinning coaster here in this park, I guess. Those spinning rides. I really don't enjoy them. This line almost feels like it is not moving at all. This is a bit of a capacity issue with this one. It fits 12 passengers per train and it goes for two rounds. Da kommen sie angesponnen. This zero creation is just 4 meters high and 100 meters long and 30 kilometers per hour fast. But this one really has some spin to it. Oh, oh. oh it spins ja gar nicht. Uh oh. Sehr easy. Wow. Problem. <laughs> Wow. Sehr gut. Ist ein leichter, aber nicht schlechter. That's the right to happiness. It may be a bit rough around the edges, 
but not that bad considering this coaster is here since 1994. Back then it was creatively called the Drehgondelbahn, the spinning gondola ride. Overall, it's super fun and actually pulls some forces due to some really wild uncontrolled spinning. Plus, you travel through this tunnel with some light theming and there is this cool sea serpent. Uh, whoa, 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 don't let your guard down. Don't let it be your last ride. So we wrote the Piratenspinner. It's really nice. It spins a lot and uh, it's a beautiful art. Beautiful ride. Nice landscaping. And you have this tunnel you spin through. That's really nice. I actually like that spinning ride and I'm just kind of dizzy, not very dizzy. That's um, uh, very selten. And um, but it's a bit shaky on the in inside. Uh, don't let your guard down. Uh, no shake at all. So uh, now we are looking for the Drachenhöhle. Let's see if you, okay, we can get our fifth count for today. Where's the Drachenhöhle? Let's, let's look for the Drachenhöhle. What's going on here? Why is it closed? Ah, a good German Baustelle. We like it. It's good, it's good. The Drachenbucht is one of the newer additions to the park. It is this Chinese themed area around the Drachenhöhle coaster. Let's go to the longest coaster in this park. Ooh. It's long and indoor and outdoor and everything. It's got it all. Drachenhöhle is a classic Zero Helldiver from 1989. Before it came to Geiselwind, it traveled. For some brief time, it even belonged to the movie park Germany. It seems to be a rough ride. They need a break, these guys. With a track length of 384 meters, it is the longest roller coaster in the park. It is 7 meters high and reaches a top speed of 41 kilometers per hour. What makes it really special are these Helldiver cars. They fit up to four passengers, arranged behind each other in line. And there are no restraints. Really, the only problem with this coaster is the capacity. There are nine cars. On the website of the manufacturer it says it has a capacity of 1200 riders per hour, but in reality it feels more like 100. The line for this ride is really moving at a snail's pace. We saw some people leaving the line after half an hour or so, and you had to spend some time in the direct sun. Most of the ride is almost in total darkness, you can't really see where you're going. It feels a little bit out of control, and it feels faster than you're actually going. It was a fine coaster. Yeah. It goes round and round and round, up and down, and a lot of in the dark. And uh, yeah, I like it. Come on, it's on. It's okay. Yeah. The rest of the area looks really nice, and more is yet to come. We have this Chinese food court, and of course, more flat rides for those with a strong stomach. We are skipping the frisbee. Oh yeah, it spins too much. Der spinnt! And there is also a nice playground for the youngest. So there it is, the new coaster for 2023, I guess, in this park. Next up is Safari Adventure. You're deeply immersed in this jungle theme. This looks beautiful. They really did a nice job with this uh, coaster. Takawaka is a classic SPF Visa Cyclone with 10 meters high and 335 meters in length and a top speed of 40 km per hour. Before Geiselwind bought this one, it belonged to a park in Sweden called Kneipen. I think after this experience, I know why this ticky here is clinching his teeth. Wow! Woo! Oh! 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 Oh!
der Druck zu einem Trinker. Das ist eine helle Maschine. Oh oh. Oh oh. Wow. Sieht wirklich sehr unsicher aus. Oh nein. Oh. 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 Oh, 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 we came just out of Takawaka and it was a, a fun helix machine. Fun helixes and uh, some heartbreaks that uh, cause your shin bind to hurt. <laughs> Germany's Boomerang. The flock is cracking. The only boomerang. The Coma only managed to plant one of their top-selling boomerang models in Germany, in Land der Piraten. This one is called Fluch des Kraken, ever since the new Land der Piraten area popped up around it. Front row. Immer an die Front. Uh, I heard it's super smooth, so we try if it's super smooth. Wird vermutlich genau wie der in Holland. Thank you. Oh, let's get home. Oh. Before it was simply called Boomerang and it had its premiere in the year 2000. Anyway, people still call it Boomerang and you can still find some merch in the park with its original name on it. Oh. Wow. Right to the Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. Wow. It was even smoother in the evening. Yeah, it's uh, super smooth now. Ah! Wow! Wow, you're so good! Ah! 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 Yeah, that was good! Ah! That's good! That's good! Wow! So we rode the only boomerang Germany's now. The front row and the back row and it's... I can say the hype is real, it's the smoothest boomerang in all of Germany. And even smoother than the one in Walibi, Belgium, that I, that I rode as well. So, yeah, I kind of like it, it's good for everybody. It is. Having done all pure coaster credits, let's see what else is there. For those who like getting soaked, there are these classic water rides, like the Lock Flume, the Croco Water Rodeo, we have quite a few of them in Germany and the Nordic Jets.
Das ist eine Vogelhochzeit. There it is. Oh, Schuschaufel. Yeah. And here it is. Yeah, we found the Schiffschaukel. Wow. That's a nice one, I think. I guess. Yeah. Now we have to find the cure to find the Schiffschaukel again. Where is it? And it's gone. Huh. Now we find the entry to the Schiffschaukel. The Schiffschaukel is the bounty here. It's an SPF Visa Pirate Schiffschaukel from 2020. It does look nice. So they have a nice Schiffschaukel here in this park. It's a, a bigger one than in uh, most smaller parks. Oh, it's the same, the same bigger one that most of the parks have. We have witnessed some smaller ones, but this is a, quite a good one, I guess. This was a very good shift schaukel. I liked it. It had a lot of airtime and it was a very fun to ride. And it didn't break too much. It breaks very too hard. Yeah, no, no much braking. No much braking. Maybe not 100% full power boost mode, but uh, it's kind of uh, super. I like it. Very good. Nice shift schaukel. Very good shift schaukel. And of course you need to visit the animal section when you're here, since it is part of the park's history. Birds and ponies and fairy tales. And these really are some enchanting goats. Oh, bist du niedlich. Meine Güte. Hallo? Die ist mein Schnürsenkel. This petting zoo is actually really big. And we spent more time here than we initially intended. Because, well, everything here is very fluffy and you have to pet it for a while. They really take good care of these animals. They look happy and healthy and they can retreat anytime they are fed up with us humans. Hello, Aww. Aww. No? Was mit dir? <laughs> Watch your shoelaces though.
And when you come here, please give this guy some food. He may come off as a bit pushy and demanding, but he is actually a really cool dude. But better plan some time for this. You want more? Even more? Not more? You want even more? More? Okay. More? <laughs> as soon as I don't have something to eat, he doesn't like me anymore. It was a nice park, I love it. Ooh, a riesen Bratwurst. I like the Disney Park merchandise. Let's check out the merchandise. It's quite good for a park like this. Magtassen, Happy Family von Mark Next. Und das ist geil, Mark Next. Wir haben Becher. Hier sind Pettels. Oh, da Tuki Becher. Ah, uh, uh, Forbidden Kingdoms. It's uh, the themed area. New one. Uh -huh. There is no boomerang, has it? They have um, some shirts for kids, which is nice. And the keychains. It's a mascot of Geiselwind. His name is Tuki, a German Bavarian. Yes, some boomerang merch. Life is a roller coaster, but I hope just not this one. <laughs> Grey t shirts from Freizeit Land, Geiselwind. What? what? We uh, got this boomerang uh, fan merch because we just can't help it. Last ride of the day! And I got a fabulous rooster and Joe the giraffe. It's a nice giraffe. It's a I love Joe it. Ralph. Yeah. yeah. So, it was a nice day in the park. I love it. Freizeitland, Geiselwind. What do you think? I love the park. It's really good here. 
I mean, they don't have any standout coasters or something, but they have a lot of fun attractions, and I like the smoothest boomerang in Germany, Flug des Kraken. Yeah, it's really nice one. But it's definitely the most smooth boomerang in Germany. Yeah, that's true. And it's a nice park for families, actually. And I like the Ziegen. It's a very good Streichelz. And the Lama. The Lama is hungry. Yes, I think the best part was the Lama, definitely. Yeah. Nice park. Uh, I would go here if they have a new coaster. So if you want to leave this park, you have to plan some time, but... Ah, uh, we are geduldig in Deutschland. We have a lot of patience, so you get out of this in no time. Like an hour or so? Maybe an hour. 